Hello everyone. Hello guys. Guys, what shall we discuss today? We shall the rest of the five mark question. Can anyone read the question? Femoral sheath. We have already discussed this question in August 2010 question paper. Okay, then we move to the next one. Can anyone read the question? Next question is, foot drop. Foot drop is caused by weakness or paralysis of the muscles involved in lifting the front part of the foot. The most common cause of foot drop is compression of a nerve, peroneal nerve, in your leg. That controls the muscles involved in lifting the foot. This nerve can also be injured during hip or knee replacement surgery, which may cause foot drop. The peroneal nerve is a branch of the sciatic nerve that wraps from the back of the knee to the front of the shin. Because it sits very close to the surface, it may be damaged easily. An injury to the peroneal nerve may also be associated with pain or numbness along the shin or the top of the foot. Injury to the nerve roots in the spine may also cause foot drop. What is the next question? Anastomosis around the scapula? The pectoral girdle has a rich plexus of arterial vessels that anastomose around the scapula and its muscles known as the scapular anastomosis. It functions to allow blood to flow around the scapula and shoulder joint if there is injury or occlusion. Contributing branches arise from as proximal as the first part of the subclavian artery, to as distal as the third part of the axillary artery. The branches that contribute include transverse cervical artery, suprascapular artery, subscapular artery, circumflex scapular artery. Transverse cervical artery descends down the medial border of the scapula to its inferior angle. Suprascapular artery passes through the supraspinous fossa, around the lateral border of the scapular spine, and into infraspinous fossa down to the inferior angle. Subscapular artery passes through the subscapular muscle and the subscapular fossa down to the inferior angle. Circumflex scapular artery, a branch of the subscapular artery from the third part of the axillary artery. Can anyone read the next question? Anterior abdominal muscles formation of rectus sheath. The rectus sheath also called the rectus fascia, is formed by the aponeuroses of the transverse abdominal and the internal and external oblique muscles. It contains the rectus abdominis and pyramidalis muscles. It has an anterior and posterior wall for most of its length. The anterior wall is formed by the aponeuroses of the external oblique and of half of the internal oblique. Its function is to protect the contents it encloses. We completed three five marks. Then we will meet tomorrow by...